Right, good afternoon. Um, Victor here from Christian Guitars, Victor Christian. Uh, say more, that's me. Got a bit of a duty in uh, today. This well, I've had this guitar a couple of days. It's uh, for all for what I know, it's a 50th anniversary of 1996 Stratocaster, American Strat. It's come in. I've never seen a neck like it. It's it was bent. The pff, bent is not the right word. I mean, how it played, I don't know. It had that much relief in it, which is not backbow. That's backbow. Release that. But it's had that much in it. I altered. I thought. I would, now I checked the truss rod on it, and the truss rod it wasn't loose. It wasn't tight though either, so it was right, just nipped on, just so it was a little bit tight. Anyway, I thought I'll alter the truss rod, see how straight I can get this neck. It was bloody unbelievable. I could not get the neck straight, even with the uh, truss rod adjusted all the way. I was still getting. A millimeter a relief which is it's, it's bow but it's that way you so say you've got a gap a bigger gap you like a trough in your neck so anyway it was in for a settle uh, and I ended up getting in touch I didn't know the owner I got it through a friend of mine who runs a studio in Nottingham anyway I got in touch with him and I got the owner's number because I thought I'm not really I can't really do anything on this guitar. I've been told I've been given a way to do a setup, but I can't do anything on it uh, without the owner's permission because to get this neck straight, not I've only ever got to clamp it and clamp it against itself. I've got to treat it with heat, and the way we do that is a couple of ways we do it. But the main way is we normally put a metal. We get it as straight. We get clamped up straight. We put a metal bar across it, we clamp straight, and what we do is we get clamped up and we'll stick an iron, regular clothes iron, I've got one up there, I've got, in fact I've got two but I've got the old one, we don't use anymore for ironing clothes and that, I use, it's in the guitar room, that's in here, and I use that for that, and what you do is you lay it on the bar, and it'll heat the whole bar, and as you've got your neck clamped, the heat will transfer through the metal bar, through your frets, and through the wood, and it'll, it'll reset your neck, because your neck, your wood, wood's fibrous, when it's been bent out of shape, your fibres are contracted or, or or whatever. You know, your fibres are changed. And what you're doing, all you're doing is when you're straightening the guitar neck, you're not doing anything it doesn't like. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be pulling it back to how it was originally. Now, this is a Fender, American Fender Stratocaster. The necks are made straight. They're not made bent. So, when you're getting this back to straight, all you're doing is pulling it back to how it was originally. So, it shouldn't really be a problem. Now... In very, very minor cases, sometimes we can't get the next straight, or if we do, it doesn't go straight in the right places. Normally, we like to clamp them round about the 7th fret, get the, start the bend there, which is what I've done. I'll show you how I've set this up in a minute. I've not faffed about, I've got, I've got a neck jig over there, but I haven't bothered putting on my neck jig. I thought, I've got a couple of things here I can use. Rather than faff about set my jig up, which takes a long time, and because the neck comes off a strap, I've just basically bodged up a bracket which I always bracket to me I always clamp to my table anyway because I've got a really good table so I basically I've used a couple of things I've got lying about but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna first before I show you the neck I'm gonna show you the guitar now it's a love guitar and it's a nice guitar you can tell it's a loved guitar because why do I know it's a love guitar well the pickups they're not standard they're not even fender standard pickups you've got some Seymour Duncans in there now if you've got Seymour Duncans in there you love this you love you love this guitar because the great pickle. Seymour Duncans are my go-to. I've been playing a long time. I've been playing over 30 years. Seymour Duncans are my go-to pickups. Not that I always have Seymour Duncans in my because it just happens that I happen to have in fact I have Seymour Duncan actives in my own guitar. Uh, and I love them, Seymour Duncan Blackouts, they're great, but I've never had a Seymour Duncan pickup I don't like uh, whatever guitar that's been in. So it's a loved guitar. But like I say, with a guitar. All you need to make a guitar a player and a good guitar is the most important thing on a guitar is the neck. You must have a straight neck. Anything else can be it can be changed, can be swapped, can whatever. But if your neck's not straight, you never it's never going to be a good guitar. So it's massively important to, for me to get this neck straight. I might even I mean I've bent it at the moment. I'm going to show you in a minute on the camera. I've got the bend in it, so it's now going to bend. It's going to have a bit of bow in it. 
See, look, and we're there in a bow in it. If I pull a natural bow in it, when we get the strings on, the strings are going to pull that bow out. And if it pulls it straight or beyond straight, it puts a bit of relief in it. I've still got now the truss rods right in the centre. So I can adjust either way. I could put bow in it or I could put relief in it. Um, it could give me a fuller working neck. The most important thing is to get this neck straight, get the neck stable. Once I've got the neck straight, then I can start looking at levelling the frets, which I'm going to be doing. So this guitar is going to have a lot, a lot of work. Um, it can be an expensive job. Uh, it's not going to be expensive for this lad because I'm doing it and we all know that I'm brewing. And uh, I'm not about money, I'm about guitars and guitar players. It's what completely what I'm about. So for me, the joy in doing a job like this is not the financial reward, if it's not really that much reward over, it's not the financial aspect, it's see me on his face when he gets it and plays it and sees he's got a guitar but it's not only playable it's also future proofed it means when i get his neck straight if i get it straight and we've still got adjustment in the truss rod it means he's got a neck for a long time so 20 year old guitar there's no reason why it shouldn't last another 20 years even another 60 years so so all being well i'm going to show you how i've got it clamped now me you have to excuse my room because my room's a bit messy i've got my little electric eater on, I've got allergen eater under the table, which is brilliant on my legs, but the dog loves it. So the dog's under here, he's got his nose on it just about, I don't know how he don't die from the heat. But you know what dogs are, he's just sat there, he's got his nose virtually on it, he's laying there now, and he's red hot, and he won't move, even if steam's coming off him. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I've got this uh, guitar clamped, and um, this is mainly, this video is mainly for the owner, but I'll make it all one video in the end when I've got the next sorted and we'll move on to the next job and I'll add it on this video later. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the neck and where we're at. So here we go. Uh, I've got it clamped up. Basically what I've used is, here, I've got my neck holder, there, and that is just one of my old soldering iron made of metal, soldering iron uh, holders, so we're using that as a clamp, and where we've got it clamped here, look, we've got it clamped between basically the 5th and the 7th fret, because all the warp really is from, it's not, it's from the 12th fret down to the 1st fret, so what we've done is, we've clamped underneath here, we've now put a bit of back curve in, which if I can show you, if we just move round, we've got, we're curving that way, a little bit of back curving and what I've been doing is we, we treat these with a little bit of heat now what I've done is I built a cage around this and I've had an air dryer clamped on here and what we do is we just point the air underneath and we've, I built a cage around it so the, the air just comes underneath and it heats this part of the guitar all this part of the guitar the bottom of the neck but with air dryer we're not getting too much heat in there we, we, what I wonder is get the wood warm but not red hot and I've had that under there for a couple of hours and I'm going to leave it clamped up for maybe another hour or two and then I'll take it off. Hopefully, we've, even if we've overbent it, it's not a problem. I'm very, very confident we'll get this neck perfectly straight and we'll get it stable. And then we've got a, uh, once, I've, once I've done that, then we'll look at levelling the frets and stuff like that. So, let's stick this back up here. That's basically where I am with that neck at the moment. It's a matter of you have to be patient with these things um, because you can't just clamp it up and leave it a couple of hours and that's it. You want to get some heat in there. Now because I've had to clamp it upside down I can't do the iron bar trick where I put a flat bar across the frets and I clamp it and I put an iron on it. So I've gone with an air dryer. Basically why I've had, I've had the air dryer upside down blowing it on not the cool setting, not the hottest setting but on a medium setting just blowing air under the neck and letting the air, because I've built a cage round and under the neck, the air is circulated around it and all it's done is got that section between probably the first and the seventh or eighth, ninth frets and we've got some air, some warm air right, rising through the neck. So basically we've got the neck warm, we haven't got it hot. There's no reason to get it hot. I'm going to unclamp it in an hour or two and I'm going to see where we are. Then I'm going to have a fiddle about with truss rod. All being well, we'll get this neck straight. Once the next straight, I know the frets are going to be out when it's when it's done, and I know I'm going to, have to do work on the frets, which is that doesn't matter. The important thing right now is getting the next straight and get and get it to stay straight. 
uh, by using my truss rod. Um, if we can get the next straight, and Bob's your uncle, we're laughing. Uh, in some extreme cases, we have to look. I don't know if a truss rod's damaged it or not. I don't think it is because we can adjust it either way. There's other things I can do by removing my truss rod. But it'd be bloody hard to remove on these because you have to pull a plug out of the neck end, out of the uh, edge socket. But I don't think we're going to have to do that. So I'm, I'm, you know, we can see, we can check that later. See what we're going to do later. But for now, we've got it clamped up. I'm going to leave it clamped up for another hour or two. I'm going to. I ain't got a lot to do in this. Round here. I've got my own guitars, to, some of my own guitars to work on. But I'm not doing anything. I've got this clamped up. I've got all my spaces taken up anyway. I'm just going to sit down here with a fire and my dog. I'm going to watch some more YouTube videos. Um, and I'm going to potter about until I can get work on this guitar. But all being well, I'll get it straight and we'll move on from there. I'll get back to you later. Be good now.